What's going on guys? Good morning. It's about seven o'clock right now. And I'm gonna take you through a normal Tuesday and Thursday for me. Today is probably gonna be my busiest day of the year. So I figured I might as well record, show you guys what's going on. Uh, I'll leave my room in about two minutes, like 7.05. And I'll probably be back in my room about 11.30 tonight. So it's a pretty long day, but I'll take you guys through it and I'll, I'll show you what I get to do on a, on a normal Thursday. Kind of a gloomy morning outside today. Normally the weather's pretty nice, especially at this time of year, but we got some days, we had 85, we were swimming. Now it's like 45. There it is. Not a car in the parking lot. The amount of times I've walked through this door, practice in season, out of season. Little old logo. This is really my routine on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays, Fridays, Mondays, I'll wake up a little bit later. But I don't know. I feel like if you just get up and get going early, you can't really, I don't know. I don't think there's anything better than that. So I'll come in here, get a quick workout in, shower, and then I'm off to class. I mean, breakfast in class. That's all you can do. I always like being the one to turn the lights on in the gym. I think that's pretty cool. But uh, I'm weird, I'll alternate between baskets. So yesterday it was that one, today we're over here. I'll bring you over there big on the little things. I know for a fact that in a game, I'm not able to wear this, I'm not able to wear my chains. So I don't think working out with them should even, you know, be a thing. It's about, I think 7.20, 7.25 now. We'll go till about 8.40. It's a normal day. Get in about 300 shots, 300 makes, and then We'll start our rest of our day. Five minutes it's like 805 right now I'm not exactly sure what time I started um, I, I've made 245 so far I'm not gonna put all of them in the video because it would be a long time but 
Now I got uh, 23s at each spot to finish up. So, I mean, we'll finish today with like 350 makes, which is normal. Just leaving the eatery now i um got this coffee and i found my friend's card thank you mr dj he's got like 30 dollars on it and he doesn't he's not here anymore so why not take advantage of it i'm about to go to breakfast it's about 905 and then i got class at 9 30. And here we go to class. I'm in this building right here. We've got biology. And then later today, I'm up the hill in Harris. Just got out of class. Gonna go walk to my 11 o'clock now. Gotta walk up this hill and then get a little break for lunch. So we just got out of class. I'm gonna go to lunch now. She's four foot eleven. I am five foot. We're gonna, we're gonna go to the cab, get something to eat, and then go lift some weights. Hi, Jack. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you again. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Lucas. Here we got some lunch. It's not as bad as it looks but it's definitely not as good as it looks. Why am I in? This is my teammate, Peter Layton Laidley. 
Government Eating food. like a like a toddler. Got the same thing. No, he didn't. No. He has three plates. He's got the calf. <laughs> Ate three plates. Gonna go lift. Not oh, him though. Four. But gonna get a lift in before class. Just got out of the gym with my guy Ron. I don't know if you can see, but he does a lot of functional stuff. He's been in the area for a long time. He knows a lot of people, knows a lot of exercises, like he's been through it. So um, I've been working with him for about two months on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's more of like the basketball lifts, you know, isometric stuff. And then the other days are just conventional lifts. So I'm about to go back to the dorm really quick and shower before my two o'clock class. And then after that, uh, I got to work this a event. shower wearing this today. It's, it's pretty bad, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh, this is an event for one of the, the vice president here at Keystone um, through the hospitality program here. So me and another one of my peers are going to go work it tonight. And you, you guys will see that. But now I got to go to yeah, class. Everything that you need. And then bottles, there's, you know, the six different things you need. We got crawl, we got well, and we got top shelf. Everything you could think of. We have Casamigos for Jordan. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Nice. And we also have near beer too. And this is the layout. I like the smiley face for the mechanical ball. Thank you. And then like these like these are tables like for like if people want to eat the dance floor. And then there's two bars with bar stools and tables up there. Just I mean, I remember showing you guys the video about that fire in the bar. Mm -hmm. The white. No, I never showed it to you. No, I don't think so. Yeah, you need a couple of exit doors. Oh, there's a door here. Yeah. And there's a door by the mechanical bowl, but it must have cut out. Oh, and okay. this, this black thing is a door, and that black thing is a door. Okay, okay, that's good. All right, guys, we're about to get to our event. Say hello. Hello. My partner in crime for the day. We did one of these a few months ago, and she invited us back. So here we go. Guys are in a beautiful home right now. Mm -hmm. Julie, get in. We are catering this event right now. We have no idea what we're doing. Just kidding. We do a little bit. So we got a little spread right here. Got some more stuff in the downstairs kitchen. Uh, crab cakes in the oven. And we're gonna see where this goes. Mm. Is this tough or no? You could be my videographer. Mm -hmm. Oops. I feel like a fancy French guy. Uh, uh. Hey, would you like a crab cake? <laughs> yes, please. It's 7.46 right now. We've been here since about 4. We did a lot of stuff today. I couldn't really record because it was a political event, but me and Julie were just walking around the house all day. Uh, now it's time to start cleaning up. People should be out of here 
45 minutes and that's it. We're on the way back from the event. It was, what time is it? It's 8.45, we got there at four, which is crazy. We didn't start till five. Uh, there was about 50 people there and we were just doing everything, uh, handing out appetizers, cleaning, doing everything. Made some money and now we gotta go back to the dorm because the day still isn't nice. over. As soon as I got back, the fire alarm went off. Great oh, day, no. great day. Okay, bye. Starts. We're not doing this, bro. I'm fishing through water bottle, bro. On the way over to the box, we got to sit in here uh, one night a week on call for about two hours. Yes, I took a shower. Please don't think I didn't take a shower. That would be disgusting. I got back to the dorm, took a quick shower, and ran. And I got the dogs out right now. <sighs> My feet have been in shoes all day. I wasn't doing it again. Uh, here we go for the next two hours. Pretty, pretty nice in here. <laughs> Got this quiz right now. Let's see what's going on. This is a real day for me. It's 9.49 right now, and I haven't laid down since I woke up at 6.55. Um, it's fine. Today is was probably the busiest day of my life. I can't think of anything uh, that happened that's been like this. I don't know. So now I'm writing in my book. Do it every day. If you don't do it, I think you should start. Um, ever since I was little, I kind of did this. Well, younger. But I just mark down like every time I lift, every time I hoop or work out. Uh, got some tally marks um, and it's just like a, not a motivational thing but I mean it kind of is so like I got like like even this like this is a Syracuse ticket that me and my boys went to just just cool things and then this is my little shot chart I don't know if you can see too good but I did this uh, uh, two summers ago maybe and then I stopped keeping track because it really doesn't matter if you're not able to shoot in a game but it's cool to, to keep track in the month of April or no March 19th to April 19th I made like 8,750 which is which is a lot. I'm gonna shoot for like twenty five thousand this summer, but I think I can get that easy. I might, I'm I'm gonna try to break forty this summer, but I mean just consistency is key. So now I you know take this, write write your little thoughts down, write about your day, and just see see where it goes from there. So gotta get a quote. What does she say? At this event I was at, uh, the host, Juan wanted me to you know stay at Keystone wants me to be around in the community involved and she said she kept asking me she said what's it gonna take what can I do for you what what can I like what am I gonna have to do to get you to stay I guess people kind of notice that I'm just around the community she's like you have you're just around like you you're known at Keystone you're blah 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 why would you want to leave she looked at me in the eyes and said, you can just say what you want in life, not just this or whatever. So I, I like to choose quotes that mean something that day. So this is kind of how I set it up. It could be anything. My dad sends me a lot of quotes. And so yeah, she was just basically saying, you know, I mean, I'm in the process of looking at different schools right now. Kind of set on this one in New York. Um, but I'm not sure yet. I have a meeting with a coach tomorrow. Uh, the whole team does. Go hear him out. But um, the host was just saying how there's a lot for me here. I realize there is. There, There is a lot. But, I mean, you never know about other places too. So it's kind of a tough decision. Um, 
but I think I'll make the right one. I always sign it at the end. I don't know why, this is my third book, but I always did it. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, while, while I was writing that, I was kind of thinking about how uh, I just have a great support system, like really the best, uh, from my family to people that I just met when I was a freshman up here. Uh, uh, people really going to bat for me. Even, even um, the coach at the school that I'm thinking of going to, like he is advocating for me and he barely knows me, like just, um, but I guess people can see kind of the type of person you are and I feel like if uh, other people think you'll do the same for them, then, then they'll reciprocate that. So uh, now I'm just going to do some work and uh, yeah. Now we're just uh, watching some old, some old clips from the season. My guy Harrison made this video pretty good. I would watch it if you haven't already. But um, yeah, it's 11-11 uh, right now, which is, that's funny that I recorded at that time. But I'm going to go our rounds in a few minutes, and then uh, my night's almost okay, over. Okay, guys. My fellow resident assistants are laughing at me. We're doing some rounds in a beautiful dorm at Keystone College. There's eight of these we have to walk through. Hallways like this. We're gonna go to the other dorms next. And, okay, we're walking out of Moffitt. Say hello to the fans. We're walking out of Moffitt Hall right now. This is dorm number two. I'm on my way back to the dorm. This one been one of the longest days of my life. I'm actually not that tired. I feel like I should be a lot more tired, but this is really, I mean, what what happens? Just busy, busy, busy. Tomorrow I don't have much to do, so that's good. But, you know, it's a long day. Thank you for watching. And if you made it this far, you know, Grandpa, shout out Grandpa. Always watching the videos, you know, uh, more to come. Have a great night.